Well, guys, it seems the establishment, elites, or parasites, as I like to call them, are back doing their best to mug us off, as this New Year's Honest List shows... Honourable. Now, obviously, there is plenty of scumbags being honoured in it that we could call out, but this one caught my attention and so needs to be shat on from a great high. A rise to lockdown, outspoken convict scientist is to be knighted in the New Year's Honours list. An outspoken convict scientist who pushed for longer and tougher lockdowns is to be knighted in the New Year's Honours. Are you mad? Oh yeah, a pro-lockdown ponce who was often seen gan on TV demanding more lockdowns while claiming not locking down killed people is now being honoured for his part in destroying lives and livelihoods. You know, you, if you kept the brakes right on until we're all vaccinated, that's the safest way to do it. Uh, and, and I mean all of us. Um, and Including I children? Too, yeah, I, uh, including children, yeah. I, I, I think we do need to vaccinate the vast majority of us in order to be able to keep the lid on this epidemic. That there was him during the eye of this stupidity, and it seems is partly what got him the knighthood. Well, the convid models that made the case for lockdown is what the male states was the reason, which to me is incredible, but not really shocking, is it? I mean, we know and have proof at this point that lockdowns did more harm than good and shit. The Prime Minister knew it in 2020, as his evidence to the convict whitewash inquiry proved bloody recently. Uh, but also, I think uh, analysis has been done subsequent to this that I wasn't aware of at the time from I think, professors of medicine and uh, economics at Imperial and Manchester that applied a Qualey analysis to the first lockdown and its duration. And their Qualey analysis, which you'll be familiar with as a tool of health, um, public health analysis, suggested that the, the lockdown in its severity and duration is likely to have generated costs that are greater than the likely benefit. Yeah, that clip there and the hindsight the world now has should see all people involved in the intentional destruction of people's lives and livelihoods arrested, not given bloody honours. But we do live in a clown world after all, so I'm shocked the old of Sage didn't get a knighthood alongside these pair of ponces. Without proof of the vaccine, you can't go into a pub, club, restaurant, gymnasium, anywhere at all, you can't travel, theatre, you can't even go into work. I mean, personally... I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. If you're on a crowded beach, mm. there's a risk of transmission. Uh, and in theory, if you go swimming in the sea, you should be wearing a mask. Yeah, I am shocked that Ship Rod and his Joseph Mengele-style medical advice didn't get a knighthood alongside wear a mask in the sea wanker who encouraged people to waterboard themselves all to avoid a bloody sniffle. Like the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived. Shit, they both did their part to push this bollocks onto people, so if you're gonna run a one scumbag, you might as well honour them all and just take the piss some more. Because I've gotta say, to me, that's what this looks like. I don't know about you, Law. In fact, let me know in the comment section below. Pandemic. We're all